Welcome to Tutorials with Casey. Visit my blog at fairwindsteaching.com. Today we're going to be talking about a new Chrome application called Read and Write from Chrome. So once you go to your Chrome web store, click in the search bar, Read and Write. From there you'll see an extension here that I've added, Read and Write for Google Chrome. Go ahead and click Add to Chromebook and it'll make a button up here. It's grayed out right now, but when I'm on a page that allows me to use the application, it will turn purple. This application boosts reading and writing confidence. It takes any text on the internet and reads it to the student. So it's a new text-to-speech application. Let's test it out here. So if I go to my new ZLA, application and I want my students to read this article. Once I'm here, as you can see, the extension turned purple. So I'm going to go ahead and click the extension and a small bar is going to pop up in the window. When it does, you have a couple options here for the free version. I don't want this page to be read word for word. It will start by reading the title. Capital N. Usala. Results. All. English, Spanish. So as you can see, it went ahead to the top of the article and just started reading wherever. I wanted to read a specific selection. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and highlight where I wanted to start reading. Then I can go ahead and click play. Abolitionist. It's only going to read the word I highlighted so I want it to read continuously. Let's take a look at the settings all the way up here in the right hand corner. If you click settings you can pick the voice that you want it to be. My favorite is US Samantha. You can pick the speed and if you want it to continuously read for the student and then your translation English. I'm going to go ahead and change those settings there. I'm going to go down to my article. Since I wanted to read down here I'm going to go ahead and click this button here and start The U.S. It. Treasury is making a new $20 bill. The Treasury is part of the government. One job it does is printing money. The Treasury said it will remove former President Andrew Jackson. I'm going to go ahead and pause it because I think maybe for the student that I'm setting this up for, it's a little too fast. So if I go back up to settings, I can go ahead and click it to slow. I can also click off continuously read so that they have to select each paragraph. The U.S. Treasury is making a new $20 bill. The Treasury is part of the government. One job it does is printing money. The Treasury said it will remove former President Andrew Jackson from the bill. He was the... All right, I think that's a great speed for this student. Let's go ahead and try to change the voice again. So if you go up to settings, I'm going to select Ava. And then I'm going to uncheck continuous reading to show you what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button up here and start my reading down here. The Treasury decided to leave Hamilton. It's going to stop where it sees a break. Because New ZLA has annotation highlighting right here, it stopped there. Let's try down here. A group called women on $20 S like that idea. So it's going to stop at each sentence and the student would have to select the, the next sentence. The new bill to honor women. That's good if you have a student that only can read small sections at a time. Supporters were glad the treasury picked Tugman. But if you wanted to go back to continuous reading, go ahead and click settings and click it back on there, and then it'll read an entire section for you. A group called women on $20 S like that idea. The group wanted the new bill to honor women. It asked people to vote for their favorite out of 15 American women. One woman was Rosa Parks. She fought for African Americans to be treated fairly. Another was First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Tubman received the most votes. The Treasury hopes when you wanted to stop, you go ahead and click pause. But please remember that you'll have to press stop or anything you highlight over, it Last will start reading. So go ahead and click the stop button. 
I hope you enjoyed learning about this new tech tool. Please don't forget to visit my website, Fairwinds Teaching, for new tech tools and lots of great teaching ideas. Thanks so much.